let me go ahead and get started. We've got a question for you from Sarah Spencer. Cam is out, still waiting on JC, game time decision. Go through the Perfect. evaluation. I didn't even have to ask. Perfect. Um, I did have one more question, which is how much is the difficulty of back-to-backs even more maybe amplified during this season, um, given the compressed schedule, or is it, you know, the same as any back-to-back? Um, in a lot of ways, it's better right now. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at the, the new schedule, the second half. We have one period where there's two days in between a game. Everything else is game, day off, game, day off. We have one period where there's two days in between a game, the entire second half. And so I think, you know, you can get really stagnant because you're not, it's hard to get in the gym, especially, you know, we got an eight game trip on the road. It's going to be hard to do much on the road and gym time. And so the best thing that we have is the ability to play basketball. Uh, obviously health plays into that. Having, having guys healthy, having depth is, is your advantage. Um, but we're going to get more being in the gym and we're going to get more being on the court. The day in between games isn't going to allow us to do a whole lot. It's just unfortunate in, in today's climate and this year's climate. Thank you. There are no hands up at the moment. Justin Felder. Hey, Lloyd, I know there's not a lot of time to dwell on last night's game with back-to-backs, but is it something you mentioned with the team, something you acknowledge, or do you just put it totally behind you? No, we, I mean, we had a walkthrough, and you want to clean up what you can. Um, understanding time score, situation, you want to clean up um, some of the execution, some of the reads that we, we have. Uh, I thought we did a good job of, of finding some some skips, some throwbacks, some kick ahead for our shooters uh, when they're showing a crowd. Uh, we want to figure out where we can do it more so that we can execute a little bit better. Um, we were organized. We were executing. We didn't score in the last two minutes, but we, we know we can do that for 48 minutes. And there's areas in the second quarter where we were stagnant and there were areas late where we didn't get some of those one mores. Um, But you have to address it in a way that's productive Um, to just say what we want to do is is really because every game presents a different problem. So you you have to address it in a way that's productive and, you know, scripting through it, trying to find the nuances. These guys are going to be aggressive um, with their crowd. They're going to pull their low man over on the pick and rolls to take away the roll. They're going to do some things to Trey. Uh, They were blitzing Luca a lot more last night. So we expect them to do some of that tonight as well. And so we've got to be prepared for today's challenge because every challenge is a little bit different. Gary Washburn. Hey, what's up, Lloyd? Um, did, you were obviously busy last week, but did you have a chance to look at, uh, extensively at the two games in Boston? And, yeah. and how much do you take from that? And how unique is it to play a team three times in a week? I mean, that's got to be – it's like the playoffs in a sense. Yeah, I think this year is presenting that more so than any season, um, that that playoff schedule type where you play a team. Even, you know, three is an extreme, but the two the two games are pretty normal uh, to see a team and then make an adjustment and play – turn around and play them again. Obviously, um, you know, we've had one game with Kimba and one game without Kimba. And, and, and so with him being out tonight, uh, understanding they're a little bit different, uh, but but it's more opportunity for Tatum and Brown to get going. I thought the first game – they were coming off a of back-to-back. You could feel the fatigue that they had in that game. Uh, and I thought our guys did a good job of, of making them feel them with their pressure, uh, their deflections, being into the basketball, being up on the pick and rolls. Um, and, and, and Thies wasn't there either. Uh, so, you know, having the two bigs, they're, they're great screen setters. They're going to do a lot to try and create some space and separation for Tatum and Brown. And then limiting the other guys, making sure no one else gets comes comes in the game and get hot, whether it's Pritchard or Teague or, or Grant Williams, whoever it may be, just making sure we keep everything solid for 48 minutes, keep the game in front, and try and you know limit the two options for the two All Stars that they have. J.R. McHenry, Coach, uh, you and I have a mutual friend in Coach Taylor. D.D. Duchesne at this as Fulton. He has a hundred to win last week. Tell us about your friendship with Diedrich and what's he meant to you personally on and off the court. 
You know, just happy for him. I saw the um, the hundredth win for him. Um, you know, happy for a guy that's really trying to get a program going. He's been there a few years now, and out in the Big West, and, and trying to get a program going and, and sustain success is hard to come by. And and you know, really, the things that he's done to create an atmosphere um, with that 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 school, with that university, um, you know, it's hard. It's hard to recruit in LA. It's hard to recruit when you're in that middle tier. And I think he's done a tremendous job of just keeping that program afloat. Um, we're really happy to see him get his hundredth win as a head coach there. Any final questions for Coach Pierce? There are currently no hands raised. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right.